I'm Steve for This Look With Cars, and today I'm out with my Land Rover Discovery XD. This is the first time that I've been wheeling with this vehicle. In fact, just getting here is the furthest I've ever driven it, so it already passed that test. As you can see, it's snowing today. I love wheeling in the snow. The difficulty goes up. You have to deal with mud, snow, and ice. The tires on the Discovery right now are the Dick Sepix that came with it. And these are a mud terrain tire, so they're not going to be the best if I hit any ice. They should be all right in the snow, though. This vehicle is not equipped with a winch, but even if I did have a winch, it would be a bad idea to drive into the woods alone. I'm the only one here right now, and I might go in and check out the trails, but I do know for sure that there will be other people driving that trail today. So if something happens, if I get pinned into something trying to recover myself, or I get really stuck, I know that someone will be coming along. Hopefully a bunch of people will show up today, but if they don't, I'm just gonna push the limits of this vehicle and find out how it fares. It's about 20 degrees out right now. So we definitely could see some ice we can also see some mud. It has been warm lately. I love playing around in the snow. It's more difficult and it's a whole lot easier to clean up than mud. One of the biggest problems with snow is that you don't know what's under it. So you want to take it real slow, especially if you're the one breaking the trail. Here's the entrance to the trail. I'm going to test the waters as they say. I have it in low range with diff lock engaged. I have a full tank of fuel. And this light over here, every Land Rover has this and that means that your ignition is on. So if you don't see that, there must be something wrong with your Land Rover. And I'm stuck already. I might be hung up on that tree. Something did not sound good there. Maybe I should try to drive on top of it. Got a lot of banging from the back. Oh, I wonder if this is what the banging was. I wonder if the tires were getting into the fender here. I'm going to turn around and take an easier entrance until I get a handle on the condition of the Discovery. This is the easiest entrance into the trail. I'm hoping that the noise I heard was only in the fender and there's nothing mechanically wrong with the vehicle. And while I'm on level ground, everything seems to be fine. Ooh, roof rack is hitting things with the roof rack and the lights this is a lot taller vehicle than I normally drive down here that's one problem with building an expedition type truck you start to make things too tall I'm going to be careful with that on the new Defender 
going to try to not to add any more height to it. As far as capabilities in the snow, this thing is working out very well, as long as it's not articulated too much. I have a couple trees in the way there. I'm not sure if I can fit in between them, so I think I might try to go around the outside. Oh yeah, no problem. That looks like it could be a really deep mud hole. And I'm not going to try that until someone else is here. There's a good chance I'll get stuck down there. So I'm going to try to bypass it here on the left. And hope that I don't slide down the hill into it. And I might be stuck. Let's we'll see what's going on before I make things worse. Doesn't look like I've dug down into the mud at all yet, but I do need to be careful. Yeah does not want to go forward for some reason. I'm starting to come back into that tree. I was able to get out. Let's go take a look, see if I can see what the problem is. Some real thick ice under there. That's just straight ice. Looks like I hit some big chunks of ice up here too. See this line here? That's just solid ice. And then the soil itself gets polished smooth because it's frozen. There's just, there's just too much ice under the snow for me to continue with these mud train tires. If I had some speed and kept my momentum going, I might be able to make it through this. But I'm not going to attempt it alone. So let's go find another trail. Bend this piece of the fender back. If we take a look at the other side. This must have been a problem because this side is already folded completely back on itself. I think I need to do that on the right side of the truck also. That is some really strong aluminum. Found a bar on the ground and this would be great for bending that. It was completely frozen. That sounds like the sound I was hearing. Well, 
I hope that's been enough. I've pulled myself up onto the RTI ramp. This should demonstrate what the problem with the fenders is. This shows how this tire is tucking up. I'm surprised that it has so much travel. Maybe the shocks are completely shot, but we can see the tire is hitting the fender right there. This Discovery has a two inch lift kit on it and maybe it's old and worn out. Yes, I know I'm missing a lug nut. That's on the things to order for this vehicle. I've been out here a while now, been making a lot of trails, and I think it's time to try this entrance again, see if I can get past those logs. I've learned now that hills are very slick because of the ice that's hiding under the snow, so I'm going to give it a little bit more momentum than I did before. like I'm stuck. I don't think coming back is going to help me. I think if I crest the hill, I'm just going to slide down. My only choice is to hope I can get enough momentum right here to continue. Try that again. Get to the top. Got it. You probably can't tell in the video, but I'm at a pretty good angle right now. I don't want to get stuck in this hole. I get stuck on a bank I can easily slide into one of these trees so the cambered any cambered areas I'm going to have to be really careful right here now I don't know if you can tell but we got a big hole here where my footsteps are and it's gonna push me into that tree if I slide down into it so I'm gonna have to come through with enough speed to keep me up out of here Try to use some, some tripodal force, keep myself away from that tree. Made it. I 
Okay, this is the spot I've been worried about the most. This vehicle is a lot taller than any other I brought down here. And you can see that tree curves over the path. I definitely don't want to slide down into that because I'm going to have to drive up on the hillside to clear it. Luckily I made it because there was really no choosing the path there. I just fell into the ruts and ended up wherever I ended.
I had a great time off-road with my Discovery today. It did not let me down. I didn't get stuck. I did everything the other trucks did. Now I have some ideas on what to do next. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe. Before I go home, decided to meet up with the local off-road adventure club. Well, this isn't good. An ice storm has moved in. And it looks like the defroster on the Discovery isn't quite powerful enough to keep up with the icy rain that's coming down. <laughs> 